This is John Linneval from John Linneval Tutoring, and we are going to do an actual College Board SAT essay in real time. This is my contact information. My phone number is 415-986-7355. You can reach me at john.linneval.tutoring at gmail.com, and you can see my website at johnlinneval.com. So let's take a look at the essay prompt here. This is the one I'm not going to do, so let's go to the second example, which I believe I haven't seen before. Okay, I have not seen this one before, so we're going to start now at 12.01 a.m., and I will have till 12.51 a.m. to get this done. Okay, so let's see. The prompt here says, as you read the passage below, consider how Dana Joya uses evidence such as facts or examples to support claims, reasoning to develop ideas to, and to connect claims and evidence, and stylistic or persuasive evidence such as word choice or appeals to emotion to add power to the ideas expressed. Okay, so let's see. First thing is... All right, let's take a look at this here. All right, so what we see here is a strange thing has happened in American arts during the last quarter century. While income rose to unforeseen levels, college tents balloons, and access to information, the interest young Americans showed in the arts actually diminished. Okay. So, the first paragraph. She cites a paradox. Century interest in literature and the arts has actually decreased. Okay, in the second paragraph. Okay, so what does she do in the second paragraph? Hmm. Mm -hmm. According to the 2002 survey, public, survey of Public Participation in the Arts, a population study designed and commissioned by the NEA and executed by the U.S. Bureau of the Census, arts participation has declined for eight of the nine major forms that are measured. The declines have been most severe among younger adults. The most worrisome finding in the 2002 study is that the declining percentage of Americans reading literature. Okay. Forms covered by a survey commissioned by the National Endowment for the Arts. I know my typing isn't great. Yeah. And per oops. And performed by the Bureau of the Census. It seems like it's probably pretty reliable. I think the Bureau of the Census knows a thing or two about taking polls. So that that 
study shows that participation by young adults age 18 to 22 in literature is especially low. Let me see if I have that right. <laughs> okay, 18 to 24. Uh, okay. So that uh, participation that relatively few. Two. Okay. So let's go on to the third paragraph. All right. Actually, let's finish the second paragraph. Describes this state of affairs as worrisome using emotional language to appeal to the reader and make the reader concerned about these study results. In the third paragraph, okay, I guess that's okay. In the third paragraph, Joya states that reading literature. is declining at a time in a young person's life. Hmm, how do I put this? States that reading literature is something that happens in a young person's life. <laughs> Finding among People who are at a time in their life when they can benefit from it most. Joya apparently uses the word literature to mean fiction, such as novels and plays, because she continues by stating that this problem could be mitigated 
Cy Young adults reading of histories and biographies and other nonfiction. Let's take a look at that again. Histories, biographies of political works, okay. Well, political works could be fiction, but we'll leave that alone for now. Political works and other nonfiction. She then explains that reading of all types was shown to be on the decline by that study. <clears throat> Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So <laughs> doesn't necessarily say by that study, and I'm not sure that Dana Joya is a she. So I'll just put the author. Then explains that reading of all types was shown to be is on the decline, but does not specify where she obtain that information if it was from the same NEA study or from some other reliable source. All right. Always good to specify what your abbreviations mean, so I'll put that up here. We'll say it's a reliable source. Okay. Let's see, you shouldn't use reliable twice. We'll say presumably authoritative source. Okay, so here we go. In the fourth paragraph, Joy states that. Okay. <laughs> da, 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 that such a long standing and fundamental. Okay. Actually, let's fix this third one. Crucial time of crucial intellectual and emotional development. There we go. Crucial time in people's lives. Using powerful descriptive language to 
bolster her argument. The fourth paragraph, Joy states that that such a long-standing and fundamental cultural activity Standing and fun. Signifies a. Oh, okay. in everyday life. <laughs> oh, they say contemporary life. Again, using advanced and powerful descriptive language emphasize how shocking and important this reduction in reading rates is. Okay, to call attention to the trend, the Arts Endowment issued the reading portion of the survey as a separate report, Reading at Risk, a survey of literary reading in America. Okay. Title Reading at Risk. <laughs> A survey of A survey of literary reading in America. Okay. All right, again, I don't know that she's a she. Okay. This bolsters the author's argument <clears throat> that the decline in reading rates is important since an important government entity believes it to be important enough to be worthy of its own published report. Okay. 
let's use a different word than bolsters. Strengthens. significant since a prominent governor entity believes it to be important enough to be worthy of its own published report okay So the decline in reading has consequences that go beyond literature. The significance of reading has become a persistent theme in the business world. Okay, so cites to Wired magazine to be worthy of its own published report. Produces answers the question some may have on their minds. Why should I care if young adults read or not? The writer cites to a February 2005 of Wired Magazine sites to in which an article cited the ability to craft a narrative That is, tell a story to think creatively and non linearly and other decidedly literary, did she put it? Uh, okay. to craft a satisfy. To create beauty and other decidedly literary.
in other words, the skill set gained from reading and better yet writing literature is likely to get a student into the boardroom of the corporation of a corporation. instead of its mailroom. And other aptitudes, side of literary character as attributes of future readers. Let's see if I have that right. Da -da 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 -da. Right, okay. No future leaders. Cited the ability to craft a satisfying narrative as attributes of leaders, the people actually, let's say, in which. Contributor. Daniel Pink cited the ability, cited business leaders Creatively. Okay, so there we go. In the sixth paragraph. Six.
Okay, so he cites two poor reading skills as a major and common deficiency in their workforces. Okay. The Association of Manufacturers. Okay, a 2001 study by the National Association of Campaign of as a major common deficiency in their workforces, and in which 38% of the respondents claimed that schools fail to properly teach reading comprehension. Ouch. Okay, so here we go. In the seventh and eighth Paragraphs Joya shows that a failure to learn reading comprehension similarly has Degraded American political life. The author cites to a okay a 2003 study of 15 to 26 year old civic knowledge by the National Conference of State Legislatures. A 2003 study of the civic knowledge of young people between 15 and 23 by the national what national conference of state legislators the state legislatures which Bluntly that young people do not understand the ideals of citizenship and their appreciation and support of American democracy is laded. Uh, young Understand the ideals of citizenship. The ideals of citizenship and their support of American and their appreciation of support of American democracy is limited. Wow, that is damning.
Joyo then ties this lack of political understanding to the declining reading rates. And in the next paragraph. By citing the reading at risk survey for the fact that readers are roughly four times more likely to participate in civic events such as visits to museums, sporting events, as a result of greater civic and historical knowledge. This could perhaps be argued against by positing that people with more time to read probably also have more time to attend civic events and volunteer for charity. Have more time and are more likely to have the financial means. People who are wealthier often can afford to go to sporting events and volunteer for charity. time here. All right. The importance of reading literature's importance to civic, personal, and economic health is too strong to ignore. The kind of literary reading foreshadows serious long-term social and economic, the time of reading literature and other arts and discussions of policy, public policy, li library schools, and public agencies do noble work, but addressing the reading issue will require the leadership of politicians and the business community as well. Reading is not a timeless universal, advanced literature is specific intellectual skill and social habit that depends on a great many educational, cultural, and economic factors. As more Americans lose its capability, our nation becomes less informed, active, and independent-minded. Those These are not the qualities that a free, innovative, or productive society can afford to lose. Okay. In the final two paragraphs... Advanced 
literacy is man for a technologically advanced democracy and that in fact such a society cannot survive without many people who have advanced literacy skills which are developed by reading literature. main point that advanced literature okay calls for notes the okay All schools and public libraries but asserts that political intervention will be needed or is needed and that literacy should be a high profile public issue. conclusion is both alarming and compelling given the dire consequences of limited literacy dire political and economic economic consequences of limited literacy literacy that she cites in her article Let's use 
feelings of emotional and powerful descriptive language, her citation to reliable government sources for statistics on and survey results on literacy literacy rates and her use of logic to connect serious social issues to a seemingly minor issues such as reduced reading provides the reader with a convincing argument. government and business intervention in the declining to reverse the decline okay In the first paragraph, Joy cites a paradox. Okay. Author Dana Joya in her article Why Literature Matters cites to relevant statistics and other reliable sources such as surveys of business leaders and articles interviewing business leaders survey business leaders as well as apt descriptive and emotional language to bolster her logic connecting a decline in literacy to serious social problems that can destroy our society if they are not fixed, e.g. reduced productivity, ineffective governments elected by ignorant voters with poor reasoning skills 
and the like. Her argument is very effective and frightening. All right, that's the end of the time. So I'm going to put that in an article here. <laughs> So, all right, we're going to upload that. I've done it in exactly 50 minutes.